So this is the Lafuga bus. This is kind of like the first video of the entire bus so far. So those are the uh, homemade curtains to cover up the the doors so that we can have a little bit of privacy. The windows are tinted, but when the lights are on at night, you can kind of see what's going on up in here. And I have the sun visors in the front window along with the curtains. Got the flat screen TV. Got the fans that was refurbished by my students that work really good. Um, it has the rear, rear view camera for the mirror action. Got a CTS seat out of a 2007 Cadillac CTS, about 2009, something like that. And we got the diamond plate floors. We got the wood floors. All right, got the picture string right here with all of the photos of vacation, friends, family. Got the blinds, accent chair. So this is just a, a view of what the bus looks like on video. There's been a lot of still pictures. Uh, right now, I just have the fan on for circulation, but the rooftop AC and heat unit works very well. Um, we have a futon right there that pulls out from the bottom, and it ends up being a bed. And then we have the sink. Just made the sink cover I'm just pulling out the the futon so that you can see that it's just enough space it sleeps two and that will allow two people to sleep and then we have the recliner right here that pops out and somebody can crash right there if they need to. So we have, um, I think that's a 10 cubic foot refrigerator from Sam's Club. We have our gas stove right there that's ran by propane along with some cabinets. And we have a double sink up under there. This is the countertop cover that we just made. And the new faucet. I won't turn it on. Uh, let's see. Little decorations right there. We have the window. Um, at first there was a wall right here. But it closed everything off. So I wanted to do something different. So I cut a hole in it. And put a utility window in it and it works great so back here is the bedroom we have one of the fire extinguishers over there let's turn the lights on baskets up top this is one of my friend's daughter's drum skit to uncle howard Taylor perry 11 no 10 1108 she was 10 at that that age that's when she was playing on stage with Sheila E and she busted that thing. But anyway, this is the bedroom. Has some pictures to hang up. And this bed is a it's two single mattresses. And the bed also slides out just like the futon did. And when you drop this mattress down, it turns down, it turns into a king. And both of the tables, the one up front and that one, it has removable legs and the table fall, folds down. So it'll be out the way when the bed, when the bed is uh, pulled out. We have the adjustable window screens. They fit the windows perfect 
So all I did was purchase these from Lowe's online. And then I had some hardware that I'll show you here in a little bit that allows them to stay in the window even if you're moving. So through this door is the garage. In the garage we have the shower basin right there that you stand in for the shower. And you have the removable shower head. I'm going to hang that up. It, you can either, I'm going to mount it up here. And the floor pan will be right here. Or you can hang it on the door when you open it. And you can rent sand or whatever you need to get off of you at the time. Um, the tile. That's my next project to go ahead and cut this tile and put it down in the garage. And then this is the power bank. Uh, we have several means of power. We have solar or we have inverter or we have shore power. Or we have generator power. And we have different means of charging the bus. We can do a generator. We can do a shore power. We can turn the switch right here. And while the bus is running, it can charge the batteries. So I made it so that it is adaptable for all areas. Anything that you run into, you should be able to charge your batteries or get some power. Alright, I'm going to make a better door for the rear so that it can completely be sealed out. But right now we have the shower curtain with the rod. Uh, most everything on here is secondhand used, Facebook Marketplace, eBay. Uh, Craigslist, you name it. The only new things I think that we have is the refrigerator, the mattresses, the TV. That's about it. That's the only thing that's new. Everything else is second hand. Alright. This is La Fuga Bus, aka Escape Bus. And I will go on the outside. So let's go outside, check out what's going on on the exterior, give you a walk around of the exterior. But right now we're parked at home, got a storm coming up, so we was going to go to the beach, but nah, not today. So as you can see, all the windows are tinted, we have solar power, we have a... Uh, 13,500 BTU unit up top that's heat and AC um, we have the water fill and water vent right here by the way the water and water pump is under the bedroom bed so right here we have the generator I'll show you what powers this thing up perfectly it is the predator 3500 i did a bunch of research and this is by far the number one generator to use for your rv or anything it could be running right now and you could still hear me talking so this is the ring for my hammock I have one on each side. All I need is another tile spot. The number 10 represents the, the number of the bus. That was the number when I got it. So I just wanted to keep it there. Um, the color of the bus is a uh, gray off of a 2004 Chevy Impala. All of the emblems was taken off, painted. We have the vents off of a Humvee that was in Iraq. We have a B1 bomber hood ornament that my friend Mitchell got me along with the vents. 
we have the antenna for the TV that gets about eh, 30 some channels got the LED headlights and they also have the running lights daytime running lights that's the drip from the AC unit which I have off right now and we call the bus the escape aka La Fuga um, the strap is just in case we, when we driving just to keep the pressure off of the hinges of the solar panels this is the shore power plug-in unit right here and it works great and that's the tour of the whole bus all right thank you for watching